I'm Catherine. I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon. And today we're going to be talking about busy weeknight meals and meal prep. Oh, fun stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, have you guys noticed we're in a new little area today? We came over to the conference room because we're doing some other videos. Stay tuned for that information. Now, so planning, prepping, you know, week, busy weeknights, things like that. We're going to go over three things. Catherine's going to go over kind of the idea of the planning. Yep. I'm going to go over a little bit of the prepping. And then we're going to give you some of our staples, some of our things that we keep in the fridge for just in case. Catherine, start us off. So for meal planning, we're going to want to have kind of a rough idea of what we're going to be making throughout the week because life gets busy. Maybe you stay at work late one day or you got different kids activities, social events going on. Um, so it's good to have a plan for the week. So first of all, you just want to sit down with the family and see like what everybody's schedule looks like, whatever may be going on throughout the week. You just want to get an idea of that so that, that you know of that ahead of time and that you can plan for that accordingly. And then once you pick out your meals, um, get some recipes together and figure out what you're going to make, then you'll want to go to the grocery store and then it will be time to meal prep. Oh my. So here's what I do. Claire and I do. We do Sunday or Tuesday. So our goal is to get everything at the store, get everything ready, and then we take Sunday and we cut up the vegetables. We get everything ready. We put them into little containers. We cook some of the meals. We get ready to go, and then we have them all ready for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Now, Sundays, if we travel and we miss a day, we give ourselves the Tuesday also as a day for us also to set up our prepping. So you do the same thing. If you go out for Sunday and then you're traveling and you just, you know, you miss up on Sunday, Tuesday's that, okay, we're going to lock it down. Monday's kind of a little bit free-for-all. Just kind of go to the number three part, which is our staples, and what are we looking at? Yeah, some of my favorite staples are just keeping some different frozen veggies on hand, like some um, peppers and onions that you can easily just throw in a pan with some eggs or chicken or whatever, maybe just to get some veggies in there, but that they're always in the freezer just yeah, it's an easy way, right? Because you have yeah. them in there. And always for us is eggs. Like mm -hmm. I'm, That's it. I come home, we can scramble them. You can, yeah. you know, you can fry them, do whatever you want to. And eggs, you know, they can stay in the fridge a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So we always have those. Yeah. And another one, like you said, turkey sausage yeah. is always great. Mm -hmm. So something you can freeze and keep in the fridge or in the freezer. The other one that I use is Costco's got a cauliflower crusted pizza. Mm. Now, if you're sensitive to some dairy, you got to be careful. But that's a great one. You can just throw yeah. in there. The kids will love it. You can throw that in there. You can add then some of those turkey sausage or things like that yeah. on top of it too. Mm -hmm. Makes for a great meal. So great ideas. Mm -hmm. I think this is awesome. It's one of those things that you gotta get a little bit creative with, but the biggest thing of you staying healthy and well is to plan and prep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've gotta be prepared for this because it's when you fall off of that preparation that you just start, it's willy nilly. Yeah. And everybody's just going through there and grabbing the fastest thing, the fast food and mm -hmm. the convenience. So Catherine, thanks for doing this. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you got some staples that you use in your house, Comment below so that we can share that with our friends and family and everybody around here. And we appreciate you guys. Thanks again for paying attention. We'll see you again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.